boys, for the fifth anniversary reveal, Bandai finally did it. They gave the GOAT Whitebeard an EX, and holy boys, I'm summoning for sure. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the trailer and the skills and traits. Boys, honestly, I did not expect Whitebeard to be the new EX. When they showed, when they started showing all these characters, I was like, who could it be? But they were showing every Yonko, and then I was like, it has to be Blackbeard. Especially when they showed the Whitebeard's Devil Fruit, I thought it was Blackbeard, but it but it kind of made sense to be Whitebeard at first, but I was just not thinking at the moment. But when I seen this, dude, I was going crazy. I wish I recorded my actual reaction. But when I seen Whitebeard, I was so hyped, boys. It was insane. Look at him. The goat. The goat Whitebeard, bro. Oh, my God. I'm summoning 100%. Oh my God, look at him. He's And he's a defender, a light defender. Like they added two new elements, light. Look at that. No matter any flag he could target, but they added a light and dark, new elements. Oh my God, this is gonna be crazy. Look at those skills. It reaches across the map. Like, oh my God. They couldn't have done this any greater, dude. Look at him, Giga Chad right there, bro holy i did not expect that when when i first seen it and he was a white defender oh, dude that was so epic i really thought it was gonna be blackbeard but they hit they hit us with the ex whitebeard out of nowhere dude that was insane so we're gonna be taking a look at his abilities and strategies so he's able to prevent enemies from capturing treasures anywhere on the stage he's a defender who excels at protecting his team's treasure areas yeah of course because he's a defender both skills deal area attacks around him and attacks enemies in his team's treasure areas away from him so keep an eye on the state of the battle and act accordingly so you gotta watch out even if you're across the map also, due to his traits, increasing his power when an enemy is being captured, uh, when begins capturing your team's area. So he gets stronger? He increases his power when an enemy begins capturing your... Tra Whoa. He can do. He could deal severe damage to enemies who aren't careful when capturing treasures. Yo, a defender actually going to be cooking. He can gain advant advantages by inflicting tremor on enemies. Yep. So he's very effective against enemies who are vulnerable to status effects. Yeah, but there's so many characters right now that literally ignore status effects and everything. So his skills in the third hit of his normal attacks inflict tremor. Yeah. So make sure to follow them up to restore his HP and reduce the cooldown of skill two. So basic attacks just get his, restore his HP and skill two basically when you inflict tremor. Then hold down the normal attack button to deal multiple hit damage and reduce the enemy's attack. What? <laughs> He's going to be crazy. Use your skills to protect distance treasure areas and beat back the enemies with tremors to seize victory. Yo, he's going to be able to stop uh he's going to be able to stop hybrid Kaido. Oh my god, he's going to be crazy. So let's, let's look how to how to use skill 1. If you have a death wish step forward. Oh, dude, that sounds so clean. A long range area multiple hit attack centered on the character. Since it makes you invincible for a set period of time, invincible skill one, okay. You can use this skill to, to power through enemies' attacks and guarantee a hit. Effectively against enemies with high defense because it ignores defense, it deals damage, ignores defense skill on a defender? That's crazy. Plus, if an enemy is, is capturing your team's treasure, a multi-hit attack that inflicts tre tremor will occur and endanger in danger treasure areas yeah so it's gonna like tremor that spot for a, a long time if the enemy starts capturing your treasure immediately activate your skill to stop them dude that's any treasure you have that's crazy okay how do you skill to out of my way with this skill while attacking the enemy around the character you can create a shield around up to five of your teammates treasure areas you can create a shield up to okay yeah yeah Keep an eye on your allies who are fighting in far treasure areas, and you can protect a treasure area uh, your allies just captured, or block an enemy runner who stuck, who snuck behind your lines with the shield. So it's a very versatile skill. Yo, he's gonna be so clean. Look at him when he's pulling the air. Oh, dude, his skills are gonna be so cool. He's gonna be doing so much like area damage. He's gonna be. This is what a defender really like. He could stop anyone. Dude, imagine last second Kaido just jumped on your back flag and you're literally like miles away and just activate that skill one or that skill two. 
dude, you're just gonna stop him and win the game. Like, oh my god, he's he's gonna be so broken, boys. Oh god, I can't wait to summon. Okay, so we're gonna be moving on to more about his skill one. So if you have a death witch, step forward, cool down 27 seconds. Honestly, that's his invincible skills. Uh maybe he does get skill one cooldown a lot, so maybe that's gonna be real short. When your when your team's treasure area is being captured, a long range multiple hit area attack with a chance to inflict trimmer. Dude, he's gonna get so much HP and skill one back if he just keeps trimmering. Also, a multiple hit area attack with a chance to inflict tremor to enemies around your team's closest treasure area that is being captured by enemies up to one spot. Okay. When your team's treasure area is not being captured, a long range multiple hit area attack with a chance to inflict tremor. Okay. Damage dealt will ignore the enemy's defense stats. Dude. Become temporarily invisible after use. Acquires speed buff effect at level 5. Dude. Dude, they're just buffing him. I mean, it makes sense. He's he's the GOAT. He's Whitebeard, the world's strongest man. Like, you got to buff him. Okay, now we're moving on to skill 2. Out of my way. Cool down 41 seconds. Okay, this is the longer one. It makes sense because it can literally stop anyone from like a mile away from taking your flag. So, when your team has a treasure area, a mid-range multiple hit area attack with a chance to inflict trimmer. Yeah, everything's going to be re revolved around that trimmer. So also a multiple hit area attack with a chance to inflict tremor to enemies around your captured treasure and creates a shield in the treasure area that blocks enemies and attacks movements up to five spots. Yeah, up to like five treasures. The shield will uh, disappear after taking a certain amount of damage or after a certain amount of time passes. Okay, I thought it was only going to be a certain amount of damage you take because if this stays there forever, that's just broken. But it'll go away over time. When your team does not have a treasure area, a mid-range multiple hit area attack with a chance to flick tre trimmer. When your team does not have a treasure area. Oh, okay. So if you have zero treasures. No fight stagger for a set period of time. Oh my god, dude. He's looking disgusting right now. Okay, with characters traits. Reduce the effect time on status of effects inflicted by enemies by 80%. Also, no fight trimmer. So wait, he can't be status affected either. Oh my god. God, recover the treasure area uh, gauge 50% past its maximum amount. So 150%, yeah. And can ignore the enemy and refill treasure area. Yeah, of course. That's what we need for a defender. When holding down the normal attack button during the first hit of a normal attack combo, the second hit changes into a multiple hit attack. Dude, what? He has different normal attacks? It says, when dealing damage, reduce enemy's attack by 20% for 20 seconds. Dude, <laughs> God, I love it. This is what my boy Whitebeard needed. When dealing damage on the third hit of a normal attack combo, 50% chance to inflict tremor. Short for three seconds. Yo. Okay, okay. Yo, that is crazy. Trait one. When attacked by an enemy whose perimeters are boosted. So more perimeter boosted characters. Reduce damage received by 30%. So you're just not going to do no damage to like... Like, Gear 5 is not good. I don't even think he could do it, actually. I know Ace and Yamato got their perimeters boosted. I'm pretty sure. So, you're going to be taking less damage, dude. That's going to be so good. And especially with the white element. is is strong against all elements besides dark. And we have no dark element characters. So, dude. I feel like Blackbeard, honestly, is going to be a dark element character. But we'll have to see about that. But let's look. Okay, we're going to read more about his traits. When you are in your team's treasure area and the treasure got... Uh, Gauge is 80% or more. Chance knock back to, to a down effect. Also reduce damage received by 50%. Let's go. Instead of getting knocked back, we're going to be getting down. So we won't get sent flying off her flag. That's real good. When attacked by enemies, guarantee to reduce the cooldown time of skill one by 5%. When attacked by an enemy. So just getting hit, we're going to get infinite skill one. Dude, he's going to be unstoppable. <laughs> trade two after receiving damage from an enemy which is 50 percent or more of your max hp reduce damage received by 50 percent dude damn the damn reduce damage reduction by 50 percent and then we got another 50 percent oh my no one's gonna be able to stop him when is okay lose when an enemy's being captured one of your team's treasure areas your attack increases by 30 percent 
what for 10 seconds so when someone's just capturing your tre you're capturing your treasure you're just gonna be doing more damage oh my god this is this is what a defender needed when attacking an enemy inflicted with tremor reduce the cooldown time a skill two but wait even inflicting tremor skill two cooldown also recover hp by 50 15 percent oh my god there's no downfall to this guy Dude, this is the world's strongest man. There's no downfall to him. Oh my God, he's gonna be so broken. Oh my God, boys. I don't I don't see how you can stop him. The only one I see is Blackbeard and he's probably gonna be a dark element. But dude, oh, I'm summoning boys. I'm guaranteed gonna get him for you, for you guys and I'm gonna drop some gameplay so you can see if he can really cook. Holy boys. Well, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and when Whitebeard comes out, I'll be sure to drop some gameplay for you boys, but let me know in the comments if you're going to be summoning on Whitebeard or waiting to see if we get an EX Blackbeard. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video, and peace.